everybody, it's James Spesky here from J Music Records, and look at this, I got some brand new lights. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Shed's 180 watt Galaxy Jet Beam Moving Headlight. So I've been looking at buying these guys for a while, and they are really nice lights. So what really attracted me originally to these lights is the stylish design of these guys. Like, look at them. Like, they just, they look really nice. They got a nice look to them and they're really compact and lightweight, which is so important when you're doing a lot of like traveling with them, doing a lot of gigs all over the place. You want something that's easy to transport and doesn't take up too much space. Like these guys are the perfect size. They're not too big, they're not too small, they're just nice, they're not heavy at all, very lightweight, which is great, making them really easy to transport. They have an 150 watt LED bulb in here, which is actually the same bulb as um, some of my other moving headlights, which are way heavier, so it's great that they're able to put such, make, put such a powerful light in such a small, stylish design. So great job for Sheds for making this small but mighty moving headlight. So I'm just going to take this opportunity to show you guys some of the features that this light can do and yeah, let's get into it. So if we take a look at the back of this light, you can see that we have power in and out in case you want to link a bunch of them together as well as DMX in and out so you can hook it up to your DMX controller. Although you can also use this light without a DMX controller. I'm going to start out by showing you guys some of the functions this light can do when uh, you're connected via DMX. So it actually comes with a DMX cable, like a really nice cable too. Like a lot of times when I'm ordering lights, um, they come with a really cheap, like plasticky cable that isn't very good. But this is like an actual like metal connector and it's, it's nice and high quality, which is great. So you just plug this into the DMX in, then of course you can link as many as you want via DMX. Plug the other end into your controller. It also comes with a power con to Euro cable, so just plug that into the power in, and then there you go. So when you f first power it up, you'll see the DMX channel mode. Um, so you can actually go into the menu here. It has a really nice LCD um, display here. So it's got all the different functions. You got DMX functions, you got different run modes, fixture settings. You can go in and adjust all of this. Um, special functions. But if you want to go in and change the DMX address, that's really easy. Just go into DMX functions. Um, you can choose what uh, channel it's running in and um, DMX address right here. And then you can just go up and down to choose what address you would like the light to start on. I'm just going to start it at 1, and then there we go. We're ready to try it out with the controller. Alright, so we got it hooked up to the DMX controller, so I'm just going to show you guys all the different DMX functions that this light can do. And yeah, so for channel 1 is your pan. Pan left and right. Channel 2 is your fine pan. Channel 3 is your tilt. Up and down. 4 is fine tilt. 5 is your speed, so you can go fast, slow, you can adjust that depending on the song that you're using it for, if you want it to go slow or fast, so that's really nice. Then we have 6 is your, um, is your bulb, and the really nice thing I like about this light is how smooth the dimmer is. Like, I have some lights that it's it's very, like, it's not smooth when you're fading in and out. So this is really nice. This will be really nice for if I want, like, a nice slow just fade on. Like, it's, it's really smooth. So that's a really nice thing about this light that I really like. Um, then you have number seven is your strobe. So you got fast to slow. So you can adjust the strobe speed to be exactly what you want to match the song, so that's great. And then you have all your different colors on number 8. So you got your green, blue, white, a light blue, magenta, another blue, green, yellow, orange, red, so there's lots of different colors, which is nice. So it's got a bunch of different gobos, so we have like a fine um, 
beam, like a spot there if you want like a really narrow beam. It's got a few different sizes of spots as well. So if you want an even narrow beam, you got a few different ones to choose from. Then you got a few other gobos. You got the line here. You got the star. So here's just all the different gobos it has. So a bunch to choose from. And then you can have it go on like auto here and go through them all as well. So you also have the prism function as well. So, ooh, you got that. And you can change the speed of that, slow, to fast. And then you, you know you can have the prism with all the different gobos that you have as well. So, looks pretty cool. <laughs> I really like this one here. Yeah, I'll definitely have a lot of use for these. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> so lots of different options here to scroll through. You also have a focus as well. So if you want a crisp image, or if you want it to be a little blurry, you can adjust all of that. And then it also does frost. And here's a really cool thing. This is a rainbow effect. Now, I none of my lights do this. This is really cool. Yeah, so it does like a multicolor kind of rainbow effect, which is really, really nice. So the nice thing about this light, you don't actually need a DMX controller to operate it. So if you go into the settings here, if you go into run mode, there's actually three different run modes. There's DMX, auto, and sound. So if you put it on auto here, you can just leave it set up, doing its thing, run in auto, no DMX controller required. And just let it go at a party or DJ event. Super easy. But yeah, it also has a sound activated mode. You see, you clap, or you can, it'll react with the beat of the music. Pretty cool. It'll change colors and gobos and go through all the different features that it does. So, this is another cool mode you can run it in that you don't even need a DMX controller for. For my life, not a word to describe I could feel deep down inside It was dark, but I could see your eyes on me Tonight. Scared for my life, not a word to describe I could feel deep down inside It was dark, but I could see your eyes on me Come to me, my lovely sound. Speak to me. I want to hear your sound. Hear your voice call out tonight. Come to me, my lovely sound. There's a fairy in the night. She'd hear me and take me away. I want to hear your sound. She would take me in the dead of night. Take me in the dead of night